Alignment labels are applied to alignments using alignment label sets. To set the alignment labels, select the alignment, right click, and select Edit Alignment Labels. Here you'll see the Alignment Label Set dialog box, and we can import a label set that's already created. Uh, we're going to go ahead and import the major and minor only label set. It does ask me to specify a profile because some of the alignment labels that we can add can include profile information. Once I select the label set, I can hit OK and you'll see that my alignment labels are created. I'm showing uh, looks like major stations and ticks and then at minor stations I'm just showing ticks. Let's go back in and let's delete all of these labels. And you do that simply by selecting the red X for delete. And we're going to create our own label set. I'm going to add a major station label style, which is perpendicular with ticks instead of parallel to the alignment. I'm going to add a tick for my minor stations. And let's add a geometry point label style. And you can see here that this will label the geometry points, the uh, points of curvature, uh, points of intersections, any spiral curve information. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add those geometry point labels. And we have the option here to select the geometry points that we want labeled. I'm going to leave everything selected and then select OK. I've added a station equation uh, to this particular alignment to display the station equation label. So we're going to add that label style. I've also added, uh, well we already had a design speed, but I've added super elevation data to the, uh, to the alignment as well. I'm going to add my profile geometry points as well. And just like the alignment geometry points, uh, we have to select the points we want labeled. We also have to select the profile uh, that's assigned to this alignment that we want to use for those labels. Uh, you can see that there is a button that will select all or deselect all. If I deselect all, I can select only the ones that I want to use. I'm only going to label my high point there. And I'm going to add another label to label only my low point. Uh, so go ahead and select that profile, deselect all, and then select uh, low point. The next label style I'll add will be uh, my super elevation critical points. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, full super elevation symbols and leave everything selected here. And there I have an alignment label set. Uh, you can set your station index increment to define your major and minor stations. I want to save this label set. I may want to use it later. Uh, so I'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll call it Moritz Alignment Label Set. Something easy to remember. And when I click OK, all of my labels will be displayed. You can see there that uh, we have our design speeds, we have our geometry points displayed, there are some super elevation uh, symbols. There's a lot of labels involved in this particular set, especially once you start labeling super elevation information. And there's my station equation label. So those are the alignment label set options that you have. Uh, you can easily go back to your edit alignment labels and uh, import a new set that you've saved or simply delete all of them or create a new one.